Liber Umbera. Friday the 15th of April, 2016. I listened to Ban Quran Surah 21 through 24. I read 60 through 117 of Conversations in the Zawiyah. Sidi Sheikh Muhammad Sa'id Al Jamal Ar Rifa Ashaduli Oris Faith. Now, faith is different than belief. Belief is transferred sayings. It's like if you hear that the scientists say something but you don't know the evidence, then it's well, the scientists say it, so I trust that they're theorizing rather than speculating. But, you know, that is a type of faith. Knowledge is you have the direct experience yourself. There's more than just reason. It's just undeniable. Now, people claim knowledge all the time. Um, and it just ends up being interpretation. But belief is just is transmitted. But if you have the right beliefs... But there's always going to be belief. It's like how we use language. Don't tell me you don't have any beliefs if you speak. Because your use of language, I mean, it's bound to actually even contain wrongful beliefs. Because people not using language right. It's like liberal and conservative have nothing to do with what, it's not what you believe. It's not whether you're Democrat or Republican. Thank you very much. Um, or some third party or something. It's how you believe. Same thing with fundamentalists. It's how you believe. It's going straight up to the basics. And there's different type of fundamentalists and varies per thing. So I'm starting on this, you know, I'm going through this Jewish prayer book. And obviously in Judaism and Christianity and pretty much every other faith, you find problems with the main sources. But you're, if you're trying to follow what the main, if you're not deviating from them, for the sake of something else or like the tradition or your own desires or something, then you can be a fundamentalist trying to go straight up to the sources to guide yourself. Um, and some like that Pharaohs and Kings book, what happened with that guy is he said, well, the Egyptians aren't quite entirely right and the, and the Hebrews weren't entirely right. But between the two, you can form a pretty good idea. So I'm going to go straight to the these sources and form the decisions myself, unlike a typical Egyptologist, which will not do that. Okay, Orange Weddings, Camp Four, Mir. Like, okay, I watched Abdul. Abdel Kandanaris is teaching Memon Mir seeds with the authentic say Mir Mir seeking the authentic self. Okay. Camp or calm? Okay, calm, yeah, that's it. Saturday the sixteenth. Hamza Yusuf Four Temperaments. Islamic cosmology. I listened to Bayan al Quran, Surah 25 through 28. Oris, wisdom. Camp for. Sacred environment. Now, all the environment can be treated as sacred. I read page 118 to. 171 of ISBN 1892595087 Sunday the 17th 172 to 208 Hopefully we'll find out which book that is the uh, Listen to Ban al Quran sir 29 through 36 that's with the English and commentary obviously that's why it's it's for Ahmed because it's not just he's just not the Kari he's the Commentator, which is important to see at times. Um, Oris, cherished friendship. Cinnamon, uh, a camp or shrine. I watched why spiritual practices. Why spiritual practice is necessary for personal growth. Orange, material goods. 
Monday the 18th, Sheikh Nuruddin, the Shaddaliya way. After that guy became head of one of the four branches under that particular Sidi Muhammad, he got really arrogant. It was like, you know, you can believe all the right things, and you can do all the right things, and you can claim to have all these mystical experiences and stuff, but if you don't know the shake of the time, you're ignorant. And oh, by the way, I'm the shake of the time, and um, your beliefs and your deeds without accepting any particular leader after the prophets died, you know, that sort of thing can be considered essential. You're personal discipline is far above anything of, well, here's the current scholar, or, you know, it's like, okay, maybe there is a best scholar in the world, but we don't need to go to those lengths. Read Sura 3 of George Sale, translation to Father, and so we have youthful orange death, camp for hope, Oris, listen to Bayon of Quran, Sura 37 to 40. Tuesday, The 20th? Oh, I keep forgetting. Uh, if I remember and I make a Tuesday the 17th joke in reference to Brendan Stimpy, but anyways. Um, 41 through 47 of Bayan al-Quran. I read I through XIII and 1 through 38 from the Tree of Life by Sheikh Muhammad al-Jamal I watched Sheikh Nuruddin talks why political Islam has failed. Now, political and popular Islam don't really exist. They're claims to say, oh, any legitimate spiritual path is political. It has a social, societal, citizen sort of politics finds its way between polite and citizenship. So, you know, they all have that. But the idea that we just look at semi-Islamic political things, it's like you have to say that about America. Thomas Jefferson, uh, some of the rights that are had in America came from the George Osale Quran translation and some of the – and like the two – volumes of Islamic law that uh, translations that were sent to Thomas Jefferson and some of the other founding fathers had these same books or had access to these same books. And, you know, we, we got to look at that in a real sense that, you know, the political mission hasn't failed. It's what it's the fact that it hasn't stayed to the principles. It hasn't stayed to the the, the deeds, it's become a reformist thing that, oh, my faith is so strong, I can change the religion. It's like, Oris Valor complaints on the Wednesday, camp for fortune, wealth. Wealth is orange, okay, fortune would be camp for, okay, on Wednesday, the 20th, okay, compliments, or, uh, okay. Oh, orange was a scent on that day. Oh, what Sheikh Nuruddin, how Sufism began. Basically, people could look at my channel and say, okay, you talk about all these things and you respond to all these things. So it's, it's not that I feel like, you know, the spiritual path that I have accepted is incomplete. It's that my spiritual path confirms, it gives itself faith by reference to outside its spiritual path, it's not so it's not just being passed on by that tradition of revelation and inspiration. It's seeing that it exists outside of that and seems to have been the root that was changed and corrupted into Judaism and Christianity and Confucianism and, and various other paths, Buddhism and um and in a firmly accepting the good and truth of those paths and expressing myself in different ways according to what I believe. That's what's going on. Um, how Sufism began, I guess I should say something about that because there is 
time for that. Sufism began because before Islam, you had men's and women's orders. And these men's and women's orders, well, Islam didn't have that. You go to the masjid, the women, you know, the women, it's forbidden to just keep the women from going to the masjid or leaving or especially leaving the home to fulfill their needs. They don't need anybody's permission to leave the home to fulfill their needs. Of course, their financial needs, that's the duty of the husband and the males in the family um, and the societies, that sort of thing. And uh, sometimes it's better to find something for them as, as, the, as a want and something and bring it home rather than take them shopping because they're far less likely to be happy with you take, if you take them shopping versus if you bring them things that you know that they'd like. Um, because then they're going to see a bunch of things that they don't. And children are the same way. And Well, may, uh, to a lesser degree, the males are the same way too. It's that we, you know, if you wander the store, you're going to get depressed a lot more than if you just go to the store and get what you're going to get. Um, and another, uh, so you have that merging of traditions, sometimes out of hypocrisy, sometimes out of authentically wanting to pass on information. I mean, why did Muhammad say go to China and go to India to gain spiritual knowledge if there wasn't something to pass on, at least in a confirmatory sense? I listened to Bayon Quran, Surah 47 through 54, or at 39 through 96, of Fruits from the Tree of Life by Sheikh Muhammad al-Jamal al-Rafa'i al-Shaduli, Thursday, the 21st. Surah 4 of George Sales, translation to Father. Anti aphrodisiac, a symbolism of menthol. Oris, promises. I listen to Bayan al Quran, Surah 55 through 60. I watched Sheikh Nuruddin, talk one. Now is the time of the Qaim. Don't look back. Question and answer. Talk to succession to the Prophet Muhammad. Now, a lot of where Sufism comes from is from Shia Islam. And yes, the disciplic succession is important, but it wasn't, it didn't really have the political authority that people claim that it did um, in terms of inherent. Um, the authentication of information, yeah, it was beneficial to that. Um, but nobody was justified because they knew some. Uh, uh, Ali bin Talib wanted to remind people that not to justify people based on who they knew or who their family was. So therefore, knowing the sheikh and being appointed, um, the various degrees that people would get in schools and stuff don't exactly give you the religious authority in reality. Now, people perceive it as authority. Uh, Bob Larson recently got a degree in divinity, and I don't care who he got his degree of divinity of. That doesn't make me agree or disagree with him any more or less. Um, it's like, oh, well, correspondence online, ooh, well, some of that stuff's better than going to uh, going to a major university used to be. So let's uh, listen to Ban of Quran, Surah 61 through 72. And... Okay, I'll probably probably have I'll definitely have one more video of this text to share after this one. Probably two of them. I read Surah 5 of George Sale translation. Menthol, break off an affair. Oris, commanding. Saturday the 23rd. Um, menthol, warmness, exorcism for Oris. And I listened to Bayan Quran Surah 73 through 84. I read Surah 6 of George Sale translation to Father. I watched Sheikh Nuruddin talk to succession of the Prophet Muhammad. Salam. Oh, I don't. There's different ones. Uh, peace be upon him, basically. Um, but 
since I'm on the subject of exorcism, allow an interlude here. And this interlude, we, um, verse 96 is sort of the summary, but one of the things I try to say every evening, particularly when I go to a masjid, Sometimes I'm run, a lot of times I'm run out of this room and don't have time to sit down for five minutes and and chant out the dish, uh, verses that I have. But aside from Surah 2, 97 to 103, 46, 29 to 32, 51, 56 through 58, 72, 1 through 28, is 23, 93 through 98. And I'll just say that the context after that is reasons, you know, the K, uh, reasons why a Muslim wouldn't believe in reincarnation comes before that. And the um, reasons why there aren't any other gods and why God doesn't have children and, you know, a warning to, I guess, witches and some other, some other stuff, but, um, comes before that, so. A lot of people would only say the Waku Rabbe Aaudu Pika Min Hamazat Shayatin Wa Aaudu Pika Rabbe Ayahdurun. But I would say the whole part that is about say, My Lord, if thou, if you're going to show me that which They've been promised. Oh. Say, oh my Lord, show me that which they have been promised. Or, well, if they've... If you're going to show me what they, what they were promised, my Lord, then don't put me among these right deprivers. And certainly, God's able to to show that which has been promised. The repulsion of evil is with the perfecting of goodness. God's best aware of that which they accuse. Which uh, God's best aware of the alleged, and say, Lord, I'm seeking refuge with you from the suggestions and touch of the evil ones, and I seek refuge. With you, Lord, from the presence with me. And so you'll find, as like the Goetia series showed, you're going to find.